How's it going everyone? Travel and Gaming back with you and welcome back to another X Plane 10 mobile tutorial. Today we're sitting here in the 737-800 November 816 November November American Airlines Livery. We're sitting here on runway 16 left at Seattle Tacoma International Airport and I'm going to show you guys how to fire up this guy so sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Alright, so we're sitting here in the flight deck, and uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and switch our ground power to the on position, and uh, fire up our battery here. As well as we're going to switch over our, um, we're going to go ahead and get our standby power to auto. And the aircraft is now using auxiliary uh, power from the ground. We'll go ahead and set up our APU generator here. Uh, we'll turn this guy the AC power status selector to APU gen as we will be firing up our APU here momentarily. And uh, we want to make sure that we have that ready to go. Alright, with the APU uh, generator uh, AC power selector done, we'll do a few quick tests and I'm going to show you guys everything there is to start up the 737. Alright, so we're going to work down the row by row, and first things first, we're going to go ahead and turn on our yaw damper, as well as go ahead and test our crossfeed valve. Make sure it opens and closes. We'll go ahead and select our, we'll turn on our fuel pumps as we do have fuel on board the aircraft, and uh, everything on this column looks good. Our APU is not on yet, but we'll turn it on in a couple minutes here. We're just doing a quick check of the aircraft to make sure we'll turn on our window heat here really quickly to make sure that the aircraft gets uh, the windows heat is on. Whoops, turn that guy on. And we'll turn on, we'll check our probes A and B anti icing. Verify they're working. There you are. We can turn those off for now. We'll check our wing, uh, our wing and engine anti ice here. Verify that these guys are working. And they are working, so we'll turn those back off. We do not need those. And everything here looks good. So we'll come down to the fire checks uh, panel. And we'll do a quick test of the fire equipment to make sure that the fire things on board the aircraft are working. So we'll go ahead and do a test of the lights here first. Make sure that all the lights uh, that are related to the fire thing are on. And we can go ahead and flick this guy over to this guy. Oops, don't pull up, please. And uh, we can go ahead and get rid of the caution. Alright. Next step is to go ahead and check the fire warning panel. And everything looks to be good. We're going to turn these guys on, make sure they're all working. And they're good. Sweet. I can hear the alarm. Cut that out. And uh, we'll pop, pop that back in there as we do not need that right now. We'll come over here and just do another quick test of one last thing before we get on our way here with the APU. Verify that the extinguisher light goes back. Come on. Come on. Silly thing. Okay. So uh, right now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and turn the extinguisher light back to its original neutral position. And uh, that is set. Alright. So we're ready to go ahead and start the APU. So we'll go ahead and kill the uh, ground power now and in preparation to start the APU. So ground power is off. And uh, we'll go ahead and start up the APU, so we're going to go ahead and hit the start. APU fires online, EGT is rising. And uh, we'll turn on our APU bleed air. Come on, up you go. There you go. Alright, our APU now is running our auxiliary power unit. And at this point, we can go ahead and turn on our APU generators. And uh, everything looks good on this side of things. We can also at this time turn on our chart, uh, our captain chart light. Make sure that's working. Our uh, oxygen panel down here. 
We'll do a quick test back here. I think we can do this back here. Let's go and have a look. No, we can't. I'm sorry, but we can't. All right, that's fine. All right, so we're pretty much ready for engine startup. Uh, we'll come over here to the light system and turn on our anti-collision light and verify that our position light is in steady. We'll come up here and go ahead and turn on our fasten seatbelt sign uh, so that the passengers are ready to go here as soon as we start the aircraft. Go to auto. At this point we are ready to start the engine so first things first we'll go ahead and turn on our probes A and B anti-icing. We won't require an engine and uh, wing anti-icing but we will turn on our hydraulic and electrical pumps and our engine 1 and 2 bleeds. Our ground power is disconnected and our fuel pumps are on board or on. We're good to go here. Alright, next things next, we'll go ahead and change our auto throttle to arm and our flight director to on. And uh, we'll go ahead and disable autopilot real quick. And uh, we'll go ahead and also at this time go ahead and set up our uh, autopilot information here. We'll set our initial uh, cruise speed to 250 knots below 10,000 feet. And our initial cruising uh, altitude is going to be 10,000 feet. Come on, where you at? Where you at? There you are, 9,990, that will do. And uh, we'll set our uh, panels here in preparation for engine start. Alright, everything is looking happy, so we can go ahead and start our engine. First things first, we're going to go uh, engine 2, then 1. It's an even flight number, 1744. So we'll go engine 1, here we go. Engine 2, ready? Here we go. Kill those reversers real quick. And our engine 2 is firing online. Add the mixture in. And we can go ahead and fire up engine 1 at this point. And engine one, we can go ahead and add the mixture. And we'll wait for both engines to stabilize. We'll go ahead and cut off our engine two to continuous, as well as engine one uh, here in a minute. We're going to turn it to continuous. And we'll just verify the engines aren't going to cut out on us, which they aren't. All right, at this time, we can go ahead and cut off our APU. And our APU generators come on off, as well as our APU bleed air. We'll turn on engine one and two generators, and now the aircraft is running on engine power. All right, and our next step here is going to go ahead and turn on all the lights that are required for takeoff. So we'll turn on our landing lights, all four of those. Our runway turn off. Our taxi light as well as our logo and strobe lights. We'll turn on our wheel well light as well as our strobe lights to verify that they are on. Sweet. Alright, all the air the, the aircraft is now pretty much set up. Next thing's next, we're gonna go ahead and uh whoa. What the heck? Alright, there we go. We'll go ahead and adjust our panel lighting here to make sure it's not too bright. And that it's not overpowering. Kill that a little bit more. Sweet. Alright, so at this point we can go ahead and also adjust our panel lighting up here to verify that it doesn't kill the uh, thing. And here we go, and in preparation for takeoff, we are going to go ahead and set flaps 5 for departure. So if you come over here to the... Uh, flaps lever, set flaps 5 for departure, whoops, not flaps 2, flaps 5, and on this side you can go in and also turn on the charts light, 
as we do not really need it. Our fuel pumps are on, and just as we are done all our systems, we're going to go and quickly test our lights to make sure that all the uh, annunciator lights are working. And all the lights up here and down there look happy. Alright, our flaps are set to the appropriate uh, extent. Detent, I meant. Not extent. Turn those guys on to off. Our uh, everything looks good up here, and we'll go outside for a quick out, quick view of the aircraft. All right, well this aircraft is pretty much uh, ready to go here, and that is how you start up a 737-800. Uh, it's a fairly quick and easy process; doesn't take much time at all, and uh, we're ready to go here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to start the aircraft up. Fairly easy, fairly quick. Uh, and, and until next time, guys, take care.